just going to briefly explain the structure of an atom. I'm going to use hydrogen as uh, the atom because this is the most simple atomic structure we have. Um, but it does miss out one of the details of an atom, which is the neutrons, which I'll cover in a second. So basically, if we look at an atom, it's split into two parts. It has in its center a nucleus, and surrounding that, it has an electron. Now, many years ago, when the atomic structure was just being developed, uh, electrons were thought to orbit around the nucleus, a bit like planets going around the sun. This has since been superseded by a uh, quantum mechanical interpretation. We'll describe that in more details later on. Um, where the, the electrons aren't exactly point-like or particular, they are more wave-like. So it's probably best to describe the structure of an atom using electrons as clouds, as, as in this example here showing the nucleus uh, in the center and the, the electron distribution um, going up to a certain point here a bit like a shell, a bit like an egg in a shell now if we look at that shell, the electron shell, sideways, take a sideways slice we we'll just slice all the way through there like that if we take a, we look at this and just draw a graph And we'll call this psi, and we'll call this r. Now I'll explain what that is later. Um, and this can be zero. The zero point is here, right in the middle of the nucleus. And this r is basically the distance from the nucleus. Okay, let's just draw that as point zero. So that's what we're trying to represent here. So for this particular orbital, with just one electron going round, I'll put the electron on just to remind us that this is actually for electrons so here it's depicted if you think as the the Born model where it's an uh, orbital um, but we're going to think of it more as an electron cloud a distribution of the electron density so it doesn't always appear here it can be here it can be here you can either it actually be at the nucleus and we'll show that now we draw um, the distribution of uh, that density, that electron density, I'll just pick a different colour as a function of distance from the nucleus and it actually looks very similar to that and it dies away exponentially it doesn't actually go under there um, so just draw that again because that was it actually dies down exponentially okay it never goes to zero it goes about there okay but we also need to think about the size of um, the shell at which um, this probability function here um, is distributed throughout the orbital. Now that sounds a bit complicated, I know, and I'm just going to put on here, this is, if we're looking at the probability, this is actually the size squared, so I don't want to confuse the matter. So if we look at the nucleus here, then the size of the shell around the nucleus there is actually quite small. So we need to take that into account as well. And here the shell is at its largest. So if we draw that, then the, the shell, as it goes up, is actually a function of its distance. The size of the shell is a function of its distance. Now the probability of finding an electron increases as it gets closer to the nucleus but unfortunately the, the, the amount of room the electron has if you will is very small so the what we call the radial distribution function which I will draw in um, blue in green just to make it a bit easier to see is actually looks a bit more like a normal distribution if you've ever seen one of them normal distribution function so if we look here, at this point here, this is where most of the electron density will lie. And if I draw this as a circle here, it's pretty much in the middle there. Okay. So 
you can get electron density towards the edge but it's quite small and you can get electron density in the in the center in it actually in the nucleus for the 1s orbital so I just I'll just write that down because we are actually looking at the 1s orbital for the hydrogen atom okay and that's what we're looking at here and this is the this is radial this here is the radial distribution function and this is the probability probability and this is just it's it's um, the size of the shell if you will the size of the the sphere okay let's just get rid of tidy that up a little bit take a while okay and that basically is how the nucleus of an atom looks